Hello there, everyone. Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. We are on episode number 64 today. As always, I'm Shane. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, go to codekarate.com. Sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. And find me on Google+. Today, we're going over a very simple Drupal module that can be extremely helpful especially on larger websites that has or that if you have a large website and it's Drupal based and has a lot of content this module could definitely come in handy the module is the search 404 module and what it does is it replaces the standard 404 page with a search for those terms so as I said before this is a very simple module you basically turn it on install it and it works out of the box so I already went ahead and I downloaded it and installed it. I'm going to go to the modules page and show you that it's there. You can see the search 404 module and I've actually been messing with the configuration so I'll reset it back to the defaults here. And as you can see there's a whole bunch of different options. But before we look at the options let's see what it does. Let's say I went ahead and I had a path that was test slash article and maybe there was a link somewhere that was broken and Google indexed that link or I sent that link out through Twitter or somehow this bad link got clicked on by a couple people or someone somehow navigated to the site that or this page this URL that doesn't exist so if I went ahead and tried to go to this you can see it gives me a page not found it also lets me know that a search was pre or performed for test article. As you can see I have two results for this so maybe I could click on this one and then I found what I was looking for. So it helps with typos and URLs or anything like that. It also makes sure that instead of someone just seeing a page not found and leaving your site maybe they'll find the page not found, find something that they're looking for or something else that interests them and it will keep that user from leaving your website it allows you to do a couple other cool things in the configuration so we'll go ahead and take a look at that go ahead and open up the configuration again and you can have it so it jumps directly to the search result when there's only one result so that's kind of a neat little feature and you can read through these and it will use a couple other, or allow you to use a couple other modules like the search by page module or the google CSE, CSE search modules you can also do a search with a custom path so if you had a view that would have a path parameter you can use the results and push it right into a view you can make it use the 301 redirect instead of a 302 if it's a very large site you can disable the auto search and just have it populate the text field with the text so they can go ahead and click the search button but it doesn't actually perform the search you can also disable the error message so let's go ahead and save this and give it a try. There's also a whole bunch of more advanced options. It's pretty self-explanatory what it does. You can change the page title, add page text. And uh, just change a whole bunch of the settings for how the module reacts when you're actually doing a search. So let's go ahead and do this again. As you can see, it says, please try a search. That's the text. I go to change the page title. Let's go ahead and try where I will only get one result. You can see this redirected from test slash article slash two to this actual test article page. So it changes the URL or does a redirect to this article page because there was only one result in the listing. If I would change it just to test article again I get both results I add the two it knows that there's only one result there so it in this case 301 redirects me directly to that article so as you can see it's a really simple module it can be useful especially if, if you have a lot of content on your site and you have links that may be, have become broken for whatever reason or you have someone linking to your site in a link that doesn't know or no longer works or maybe it never worked so go ahead and give it a try see what you think and let me know if you have any other modules or module development theme development ideas for future daily dose of Drupal videos thanks again for watching